Hi, so my name is Raj. Uh, I am a final year medical student uh, from Sir John Kotalawala Defence University. Uh, so what I am here to demonstrate is something that's already been established in India, uh, which is called the Chandigarh balloon, the CG balloon, which is in replacement uh, to the traditional condom catheter that we use. So postpartum hemorrhage is uh, one of the leading causes uh, for maternal increase in maternal mortality uh, in Sri Lanka. So in the stepwise manner of management of postpartum hemorrhage, uh, we have something called the balloon tamponade, where we apply pressure from that is from inside the uterus to prevent bleeding, just like any bleeding that we would manage. So the ideal one that we could use is the Bakri catheter, which can form the shape of the uterus and which provides an excellent, uh, which is a well-established method of uh, postpartum prevention of postpartum, the, in the management of postpartum hemorrhage. The problem of Bakri catheter in Sri Lanka is that it costs about 25 to 30,000 Sri Lankan rupees, which is not uh, very affordable and uh, that's why we don't have plenty of Bakri catheters available in any normal labor rooms in a government hospital what we do is the condom catheter where we would take a catheter we have and apply a condom over it and then we would use sutures to uh, tie the condom uh, uh, condom around the catheter and then inflate through the drainage port and then inflate it uh, to provide as a tamponade there are three major problems in it one is that when we are trying to tie the condom around the, this with the suture material, we usually use silk, is that it can be too thick. When it's too thick, the problem is we won't be able to fill this because the lumen inside gets obstructed, we won't be able to fill it. If we tie it too loose, the problem is that the when we take it out, there's a chance that the water, the, the saline, normal saline can leak from the condom to outside. The third one is sometimes the silk can cut through the condom and therefore uh, destroying the condom completely the structure so that we will lose everything. What we are going to do here is the Chattigas condom catheter where we are going to avoid all of this plus there is an added benefit that we will be able to make a drainage port which is not available uh, which cannot be done in a traditional condom catheter, we will be able to attach a draining port from the uterus so that we know how much she is bleeding, the mother is bleeding within the uterus. So things we would need uh, to weigh Foley catheter, 20, 22 or 24 uh, French catheters, then we would need any syringe, a condom, normal saline and a urocet bag, a urinary bag. So this would be done in a sterile environment with sterile gloves but for the sake of demonstration I'll be just demonstrating this directly. So to do this uh, we would need an assistant so we would need two people to be wearing sterile gloves. So I'll explain the purpose of it. So I'm just going to take the catheter. So this all will be done in a sterile table on, in, on top of a sterile cloth. So but then catheter, the bulb. I'll be taking one of the So let's pretend this is the normal salad. So what I'm gonna do initially is I am going to make rubber bands. So the band is, so we need something to tie the condom on top of this. So we would need bands. So as I told the problem with the silk, so the best one would be to use the catheter's band itself. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut rings just from the, the draining port. So we have the draining port and this is the bladder, the bulb filling port. So I'm just gonna take from the draining port, I'm gonna make about two to three bands should be enough. So I'm just gonna cut it. Okay. So as you can see, I've made 
I just cut two bands from this. So next what I'm going to do is just inflate the bulb and I'm going to cut this bulb because we are going to replace this bulb with the condom. So I'm just going to okay. So uh, I have completely cut off the bulb. So what I'm going to do is take the condom, roll it over. So I'm going to use this as the band. I'm going to place the first band between the tip and the bulb. The second one, the second ring, I'm going to put about one to two centimeter from the tip of this end. So that was I'm going to put two rounds of this band. So what I have done is uh, I have taken two bands which is made which I have cut from this end from the draining tip and I have put two rounds one between the tip to the uh, bulb and the other one about one to two centimeter from this end. So now what I am going to do is I'm go I want to make I want to make the draining port. So what I am going to do is I am just going to cut the tip. with the condom so what you can see so this is going to act as a draining port of the blood so now all I have to do is fill so I have finished uh, filling I have filled about 300 ml of normal saline so as you can see there is no leak on both sides so what we would do is before we inflate this before uh, once I have put the rubber bands we would ideally dip it in betadine for about 2-3 to three minutes and then insert this and uh, we are by keeping this ring at the external os level so just use your two fingers insert it and then inflate it and as you can see it is maintaining the shape of the uterus which uh, we would get in a bakri catheter and this would act as a drain and all we have to do is connect the urinary set to uh, the draining port and uh, we could measure the blood loss within the uterus in real time so a urinary catheter costs about 150 rupees the uracet costs about 150 rupees and the condom with the what that comes is about a packet of 350 so it's about 16 15 rupees so at about less than 350 rupees we can make uh, the chatigas balloon which is very equivalent to a bakri catheter